Hey everybody, welcome back to the BCR Garage. I am the Bruce City Rider, and today we're gonna take a look at how to calibrate an inch pound torque wrench. I was sent this uh, UE Cove, basically a no name brand, torque wrench for review several months ago, and I found it to be about 12% uh, off in its calibration. So something went uh, haywire on its trip across the ocean um, I put an initial calibration on it, just a real quick job, but today I want to fine tune it and I'm going to show you how I do that. I'm also going to show you two ways of doing it. One with a luggage scale, sometimes they're called fish scales, and one with a uh, torque adapter. If you like content like this, I'd appreciate a thumbs up and uh, please subscribe if you're not already subscribed and also comment. So stay tuned, and I'll bring you down to the bench. So here's what we're working on today. This Ui Cove inch-pound torque wrench sold on Amazon. And it's a uh, 20 to 240 inch-pound torque wrench with a sliding collar. Here's the luggage scale we're going to be using, also off of Amazon. I'll post links below. And the, the torque adapter. Here's the case the torque adapter comes in. It's a mulwark. All this stuff is off of Amazon. So you'll also need a vise to do this and then a piece of scratch paper and uh, we'll get started. So what we're going to do is I'm going to take three measurements at three different inch pound settings on this torque wrench. I'm going to use 110, 160 and 210. And we'll take those three measurements and we'll get an average at all three and then we'll see if we need to um, recalibrate this torque wrench. As far as the luggage scale, I calibrated this already, or I checked its calibration I should say, at 10 pounds, 15 pounds, 45 pounds, and 70 pounds using my uh, barbell weights. And I found it to be uh, about 1% off at the lower weights and about 2% as I got up into the 45 and 70 pound weight ranges. So we'll take that into consideration. Okay, I'm going to set it to 110 inch pounds. So on this particular model, I pull the collar down, twist. All right, we're locked in at 110. Now you put your square drive in your vise. Cinch it up. So torque wrenches are designed and calibrated to have the, uh, the fulcrum point right in the middle of the handle. So what we're gonna do is put a piece of tape approximately in the middle and then we're going to get ourselves a measurement from the middle of the square drive to the roughly the middle of the handle which is right there so we got seven and a half inches so that'll be one of our measurements so that's where I'm going to be uh, pulling from So now we'll take our luggage scale, turn it on. Place it right over that seven and a half inch mark. Right there. And it's very important to get this uh, 90 degrees. And pull straight along that axis. And you have to watch your readout carefully because it won't lock in. 
because you're not actually holding it at a specific weight. You're just pulling it until it breaks. So you got to pull slow. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Fourteen point eight. I'm going to mark that down. Zero it out. Do it again. Fourteen eight three. Zero it. Fourteen eight. All right. Now I'm going to set the torque wrench at 160. Now at 160, we do it three more times. Twenty two point seven, I missed it that time. It flashes so quick, sometimes it's hard to see. Zero it out. Twenty two point oh nine. Twenty one point eight. Now I'm going to go up to two hundred and ten pounds. Okay, here we go at two hundred and ten. Okay, so I crunched all the numbers. This is what it looks like. I took the um, all the readings from the luggage scale, multiply it times the length towards to the middle of the ratchet, the excuse me, the torque wrench. Gave us these readings, added them up, divided them by three. That was my final value. And took that, divided it by the 110 subtracted one it gives us one percent at 160 uh, and i forgot to mention as i change the length of the torque wrench in other words change it from 110 to 160 the um the line to the middle of the handle uh, shortens as we uh, increase the torque reading so at 160 to our line it was 7.375 so again I multiplied my readings times my length which gave me my total added them up divided them by three gave me 163.69 divide that by the 160 subtract one gives you 2.3 percent same exercise at 210 <clears throat> We're now at 7.125 to the middle of the handle and calculate it through and it gives me a 0.8%. So all those readings are within the spec of the torque wrench, which is plus or minus 3%. So my initial quickie calibration actually was uh, dead on. Here I'll show you on my calculator how that works just to make it more clear. Let's go 163.69 divided by 160, subtract 1, that gives us 2.3%. Hope that makes it more clear. Okay, what, what to do if it is off? Uh, it's very simple. I'll show you. Hold on. 
course each torque wrench is going to be a little different but on this one to uh, recalibrate it you just need to remove the nut on the rear and that exposes a nut on the inside in this case it's 10 millimeters so you would just loosen the nut and then take a uh, allen wrench this one is three millimeters and put it on the hex nut trying to get the light in there there you go put it on the hex nut right there and if it's uh, breaking too late in other words um, if it's reading high you loosen it and depending on how high it's reading you would loosen it accordingly I would start in small steps like maybe at most 180 degrees a half a turn tighten the nut and recheck it and of course before you can do that you have to uh, take all tension off the torque wrench bring it down to zero if it's breaking too early you need to tighten it and again I'd go about half turn at most tighten it down recheck it now that I've calibrated this wrench successfully um, I'm pretty happy with it I do like this sliding collar type wrench the other ones I have you tighten and loosen by turning the handle and then you tighten a nut or a, a ring at the bottom now I'll just show you real quick using my torque adapter for another method okay to use a torque adapter you just place the square drive in your vise attach your torque wrench in my case I had to use two step down adapters to accommodate my little uh, inch pound torque wrench with the quarter inch uh, square drive and then set your torque adapter to peak mode which is PTOP and in my case I have it set to inch pounds and then you pull I know it's gonna be hard to see with the glare uh, 111 it looks like 113 and 115 we'll go one more one fourteen so it's reading a little bit higher than uh, with the luggage scale where we got an average of 111 um, but it's still going to be within three percent so I don't know if this torque adapter is just a little off you know there's so many variables you're checking the the calibration of something but what you're checking it with is that dead nuts on or is it a little off so this may be just a little reading a little bit high um, I did the best I could to check the calibration of this and it was pretty accurate one to two percent off and I used my barbell weights to uh, to check the calibration of this which I weighed beforehand on another scale and they were right on the 5, 10, 25 and 45 alright guys that'll do it was that about as clear as mud <laughs> uh, anyway I hope I uh, explained it okay did the best I could but there's a couple methods for you a third method would be to hang weight off of the handle of the torque wrench I don't care to use that method but you can do that as well okay that's it for this installment of the BCR garage hope to see you out on the bike soon weather should be getting nice the rest of the week and I'll catch you later
This is BCR signing out. Later, guys.